In today's video, we will be going over the module for Advanced Stock Management on Magento 2. This module is part of the embedded ERP package, but can equally be used on its own. The features of the module are accessible from the product menu, Inventory Management. Warehouse Management. The first element that we will be looking at is Warehouse Management. It is possible to manage multiple warehouses within this module. In this example, we will have the main warehouse, which corresponds to your warehouse, a warehouse for your shop, a warehouse for defective products, a warehouse for products in dropshipping, and a second warehouse for storage. When configuring the warehouse, we will find multiple elements, a name, an email, the status, whether the warehouse is active or not, and the methods of shipment. There are four available options, shipping, which allows you to ship products directly to the warehouse, pickup, which concerns shops, and the client collects the product at the shop, dropship for the suppliers which ship the product directly, and none in the event of a defective product. It is equally possible to display stock on the front. The other elements available in this warehouse interface are the main elements, the figures such as the number of SKUs in stock, the number of total products, or the total value. The figures such as the number of SKUs in stock, the number of total products or the total value, the list of all the products with their shelf location, the quantity to ship, a list of the orders to ship for the warehouse, and finally a feature for importing and exporting to be able to work with CSV files. Routing management. Once all the warehouses have been configured, we will be able to manage what is referred to as routing. The objective of routing is to define the roles of the warehouse at the heart of your business. In this example, we will be using three sales channels, a B2B site, the main website, B2C for example, and finally a shop in Paris. In the column, we will find the different warehouses, the main warehouse, the shop warehouse, and the warehouse for defective products. And for each sales channel and each warehouse, we will be defining two pieces of information. Firstly, if the product within the warehouse are used for the sales channel, and secondly, if the products for the sales channel are shipped directly. For example, on the B2B website, we will consider that we can sell on the website what is in the main warehouse, what is in the storage warehouse, but equally what is in dropshipping. For the B2C website, we will instead configure it so that the products which are in storage are not up for sale we can consider it as wholesale. That which is available in shop is also available on the website. If a sale is placed on the online store, the system will ask that you repatriate the products from your shop to the main warehouse to then ship the orders. Finally, for the shop, only products available in the shop warehouse are available for sale. This configuration will allow you to make associations between your sales channel and the warehouses. List of products. Once all the warehouses are configured, we will begin working on the list of products. Magento offers a standard interface for products which you are familiar with. The module for advanced stock management will offer a secondary interface, keeping the original products, which will focus on the information of stock management. For example, here we will find the barcode, the SKU, and the different levels of stock at the product level. On the second line, we can see that the main warehouse has 98 products in the shop 12, 2 in defective, etc. If we click on the second product, we will be redirected to the ERP interface. From here, we will find the different settings. The first important setting is what we call the warehousing. For each product, we are going to find elements relating to the warehouses. The first element is what we call on-hand quantity, what you currently have in stock. Here, we have 98 units in the main warehouse. Secondly, the quantity to shop, these are the orders which have been passed but which have not yet been shipped. The system then automatically reserves the product. From the on-hand quantity and the quantity to ship, the system will equally provide you a notion of available stock. It is the available quantity which will be used to define if your product is available for sale on your site or not. We will equally work with levels, warning stock level and ideal stock level, and finally manage the location of the products within the warehouse. Once there is a change in the physical stock on a product, there will automatically be a stock movement. 
By clicking on the top left, we will see the entirety of the stock movement associated to the product. A movement of stock always has a warehouse from and a warehouse to, a quantity, a category and a comment. And the first movement which we are on has decreased the main stock of two units for the shipment number three. The second movement of stock is here and is in fact a transfer. This means that we have passed a unit from the shop warehouse towards the defective warehouse. The third element is an increase in stock. We have increased the stock of the storage warehouse of 50 units since we received a supply order number 5. These stock movements are going to allow you to track perfectly your stocks and products. We can create manually a movement of stock. If for instance you receive products from a supply, you may return to the section New Stock Movement and specify that we will receive in the main warehouse 12 products within the category Purchase Order and here we may add a comment. By clicking on Save, this automatically updates the stock of the product to pass from 98 to 110. On this product sheet, we will see the orders to ship. For the running product, we have a single order which will be shipped from the main warehouse. From this base of information of stock management, in other words the warehouse management, the integration of warehouses, the management of stock movements and finally the notion of quantity in stock to ship, reserved and available, you will have a complete tool to manage your stock effectively. Mass Stock Editor. To access this, we will return to the product menu and from here we will show you what we call the Mass Stock Editor. The Mass Stock Editor allows you to easily modify the quantity in the warehouse, the shelf location for a product and a warehouse's data. Stock Transfer. When you need to move or change the location or quantities of products in mass. For this example, we have created a movement of stock which is coming from the main warehouse to the shop which has been named Shop Replenishment. The movement are the products which you will be moving. In the product section, we will find the products which have been selected each time with a transfer quantity. The idea behind this is that we will create a stock movement. We can add manually products from this list here, and each product add the quantities. Once all of the products to move have been defined, it is possible to print the stock transfer. A PDF is generated in which we will find the product, the barcode, and the source location that have been defined. This sheet will be used for the picking of the products and transfer them physically to the other warehouse. Once this is complete, we will be able to apply the transfer by clicking on the button Apply. We will find all of the products which requires transfer, the quantity ordered and the quantity received. With the help of the minus and plus buttons, we will be able to define the quantity transferred. The second option is to use a barcode scanner to scan the products. Here, we are scanning the first product and the quantity is increased. Once this has been done, you may save it. The system will now generate the stock movement. If we return to one of the products from our transfer of stock in the list of movements of stock, we will see the movement of stock which has decreased the stock from the main warehouse to increase the shop warehouse stock. Stock take. The final features concern stock take. These are accessible in the section stock take. Here we have created a stock take. For a stock take, we specify the warehouse in which we wish to stock take and the system will list all the products which are found in the warehouse with two important columns. A first column which is the expected quantity and the second column which is the scan quantity. To begin a stock take, we are going to use the section scan product by clicking here. The system lists the entirety of the products and we will arrive at a screen similar to the transfer of stock screen. To note, it is possible to define for each product the quantity that has been counted manually, but it is also possible to use a barcode scanner. We scan the product and the quantities automatically increase. Once we have quantified all the products, we will be saving the data. In the product section, for each product there will be different statuses. Either you have not scanned the product, the quantity does not match, or there are differences. It is possible to apply a filter, for example, to see all the products which have a difference in order to check the quantities once more. 
Once the stock take is complete, it is possible to apply the stock take by clicking on the button Apply. The system will list the modifications of stock which have been actualized. As an example, it is possible to see that for the first product, we were expecting there to be no units. By having found one, the module will automatically adjust the stock take and add one item to the main warehouse. It is possible to make a second check from here to ensure all the information is correct. Click on the button Create Stock Movements here, and the system will create a movement of stock to update the quantities in the Magento corresponding to what has been scanned. By entering the product menu Movement of Stock, the movements of stock which have been generated by the stock take will now appear. Recap. The presentation for the advanced stock management is now complete. We have gone over the different features of the module for Magento 2. This module ensures the traceability of stock with movements of stock, the management of multiple warehouses, management of quantities clearly separated in differing warehouses, and the management of order routing. When an order arrives, the system will offer to ship a product in your stock in conjunction with the order's different elements. It will suggest to transfer the product from your shop to your main warehouse, and the final product will be transferred to the warehouse dropshipping to be transferred to the supplier. This module is compatible with the other embedded ERP modules, such as the order preparation module, which uses the information from the stock management module, the dropshipping module, which relates to the dropshipping stock management, to dropship orders directly to the supplier. The presentation is now complete. Feel free to look at our other guides.